Hey guys, and welcome back to the League of Legends. Today we are playing Fizz in the support lane. Just let's see, we'll start off with the Relic Shoot now. To be honest, it would be great and all, but I'm gonna go start off with the 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 spell thief statue. I can get a lot of poke off and a lot of gold for poking them. Uh pick the I kind of I meant to do playful trickster, but you know it doesn't really matter. You, it doesn't matter which one you start. It just like depends on how, if you want all the aggression or not. Which I usually go for all the aggression, so I'd get playful trickster. And apparently we have a mid lane um, Lee Sin. So let's go over the teams real quick. Mid Lee Sin, Jungle Yorick, F J Support Fizz, ADC Ezreal, and Top Jace. On the enemy team they have, I'm guessing Top Ringa, Mid Malzahar. A bot lane, they're gonna be a kill lane, no support, so it's, but they're both ADCs, Vayne and Twitch, and then they'll have a jungle, Shin Hao. So, I guess he's starting Gromp, which is pretty nice, because it gives you the poison stats to kill that. So let's see, at this moment, there's not much to do except wait for the minions, uh, wait for the jungle to spawn so we can get to lane. But as Fizz, you kind of do a decent bit of poke, of course. But it's kind of hard. But the one thing you gotta focus on, like he has a, his ultimate is on a really low cooldown, 95 seconds. It doesn't seem like a really short cooldown, but it's actually pretty short. So it's always kind of a really good time. You're able to use it a lot, and it's a really good initiation tool. So I, uh, since I have my W, I might as well use it to get some poison damage off on the Grom to kind of help him get it done. The thing is, he should have sm smited it earlier, so he would do have done the constant poison damage. So let's see. Ezreal is a good champion for poking, so poking would be something we should do in full. So let's see. And I do plan to poke if you see I got this, which will give me gold for getting off auto attacks and spells. So of course, poking is my middle name at this point. And Fizz is someone who should be very, played very aggressively. Sorry guys, there's a bug flying around my face. Almost hit me in the eye. So right now, I'd say we should be pretty much fine. We should reach level 2 force before going in. We need either our Q or our um, E to kind of go in on him. Simply because if we don't have it, we don't really have this like cl cl any like tool to get close. You can use your Q to kind of like, get right to them or you could use your E as well. I like getting the E, of course, specifically because it can allow you to dodge something that's pretty bad, and it also allows you to get a slow off if you jump right on them. I think it's... Yeah, it's the fourth jump that slows them, just for making sure of that. I read the whole thing in my head. But it's the fourth jump, like, you have to jump the fourth time to get the slow off. Or the second time, I don't know. But I think we could probably get this person... If we're careful. Okay, I'm probably probably gonna be okay. Sadly we couldn't get her, she had a heal and everything. And now Ezreal's dead. Sadly, you know, it looked like we did a lot we did a lot of damage. Fizz, of course, as a champion, does a lot of damage. But we couldn't really do more damage afterwards since we don't have like this is a fifteen second cooldown and being an AP champion, he really takes a lot of damage through his, not his auto attacks, but his spells. So, auto attacking really didn't do much. Ezreal, since he's only level 2 and he only has one item, he really didn't have much damage to work with. So, that's it's understandable why we lost. So, yeah. Sorry, guys. On my headphone, I kind of had it turned up, so it felt unnaturally loud. So, I had maybe a few pauses. I don't know why I took that for some reason. I kind of almost when I was a poet, I'm usually usually someone who can make use of the relic shield, which meaning if I do take a minion with a point in it, I end up taking. Okay, make sure there's no ward in here. I almost took that on kind of like instinct, I guess you might say. So there's not much I could do here. I'm gonna go and kind of ward up, make sure. I mean, usually when you have your cyclone, you have all that for you already. So it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna get off some damage on this guy. Just so, you know, by the time he gets to Ezreal, 
Ezreal should have plenty of damage. Okay, they're both level 4, so they're definitely going to have uh, some kind of outweighing in us. But I know, like, as soon as I get another... As soon as we kind of get to a better point in this game, we should do pretty well. Simply because we're very good at going kind of all in. Fizz is a really good chance for just jumping in. He can get out, too, if you're... If you save your E for and don't use it to initiate, but as support, it's that's kind of when until you reach level six, that's your really main in initiating tool because it's the only thing you have with any sort of CC on it. I mean, if you wanna, you have if you have your exhaust up, you could kind of Q to them and then exhaust them, but that's kind of conditional. And your playful trickster has a much much lower cooldown than your exhaust does, so. Yeah, but once you get this, I mean, this is a pretty hefty cooldown, but it's the main initiation tool of Fizz, and it's a very damaging thing, and it actually, the when you have someone with the shark around them, and you attack them, it makes your other attacks do more damage. I do so believe, at least. Let's see. Da, da, da. I don't know. They might have changed it in recent times. Slower, okay. Amplifying damage by Fizz, okay. Yep, that's what that's, I'm right. It amplifies the damage. So yeah, that's kind of what we gotta hope for. When we get on the thing, we gotta do as much damage as we can on him. So at this point, we're pretty well off, just simply because. Sure, Ezreal just needs to farm and keep up farm, and that's what he's doing. And the thing is, they have to split the farm between them, which is gonna make it so that harder for him to get farm. So, I mean, York is getting Dragon. I don't know if he pl he plans on soloing it, of course. and But hopefully he'll come bottom next. Because I do have my exhaust. Which, of course, is going to be a good thing to have on us. And if he does play, a 3v2 should be pretty well off. So, it seems like he's low enough that he doesn't feel comfortable going bot. Which is understandable. Considering Ezreal is also pretty low. So, we're not really going to do much there. Okay, he's on his way, actually. So let's see if we can take some damage. Give them some damage here. Oh, uh, they used heal, of course. But they did use... We didn't really have to use any kind of summoner spell. So that's pretty good. And if they do come back on to an initiate on us, we can definitely turn the tide. But York's left already, so... That's not really going to come to us. I'm just going to give up all the things here because that's kind of where our main damage will come from. No, oh, we're not going to do a lot of damage anyway. Going to come, going to back then come mid. So, I guess, you know, he's going to help the mid laner. I guess Lee Sin, I don't know how that would work up against Malzahar, but it seems like he's technically sort of winning. I mean, he probably got jungle ganked, which is why he has one and two. But that Malzahar doesn't have any kills. She has two assists. Uh, they're both level 6 now, but their level 6 are relatively weak compared to mine and Ezreal's. I mean, his Twitches gives him, like, a, a multiple targets to hit, and it makes his range increase, so it's more of a trading tool, of course, but I feel like, in terms of raw power, mine and Ezreal's are kind of better. His, but they're also very, like, they're skill shots. Okay, like you see here, he, he's running away. I'm going to say Ezreal should just back off. Simply because if he turns around on that, I mean, I got that by mistake. Because I was afraid that the Ezreal might die. He got shot away from him, and my poison from my auto attacks killed him and all. But I don't think it was that bad. But as soon as I reach level 6, we're definitely going in on this. Uh, dang. I was hoping that he wouldn't put a ward down there, but, you know... Beggars can't be choosers, right? Okay, he's reached level 6. But as soon as I do reach level 6, that will be the main kind of point in this. Ah. Uh, okay, he flashed. Okay. Good, that's the thing. Like, Ezreal's ultimate does a lot of damage. But the thing is, you have to hit them with it first. Which is sometimes a pain, so... Be a bit. Just gonna back off and get some wards for our bot lane so you know he isn't totally helpless to a gank and I usually go force back try to get a sight stone next I'm gonna get some boots just so I can move a bit faster 
And let's see, can I get up the... Nope, not gonna be able to get the upgrade. So I'm gonna go get a pink ward and a few more potions just to keep healthy in bot lane. So Fizz is a very good champion for aggression, and that's kind of what we have to focus on, is going in and being aggressive. Because Vayne is a late game champion, so if we can kind of shut her down, it'll be pretty good. I don't know, this Twish is also kind of going ADC-ish, but it's weird considering, like, he's not getting a lot of farm, which is just kind of bad for him. And considering that the Lee Sin is here, if he can... Uh, Ezreal might be dead. Okay, so, he kind of got, uh, I don't know how I got that, to be quite honest, but look, it's 17 seconds already. Okay, I don't think I'm kind of in any kind of trouble here. If anything, it's uh, he who is in trouble. Okay, so he's dead. I didn't have to use my ult or my flash or anything, which I didn't really plan to. But let's see if we can't go after all that help that we got from the... Lee Sin that we can kind of help him so yeah he shouldn't be able to get out I mean, I'm kind of afraid of like chaosing it or anything I'm hoping he can get it on his own yeah I still took it I was like that's the one thing I was trying not to do because that's the one problem like really fit has when he, he does a lot of damage like I said so you don't really need to build damage but there's also the chance that by mistake you take a few kills sorry KS. I didn't try to as we can all tell because I didn't I really wasn't trying to I was just afraid he wasn't gonna get out alive oh and they took out my pink one automatically so yeah that's not too great so they took out tower 2 which isn't that great and I'm getting a lot of kills which is in Tom's good because simply I just get a lot of okay I'm hoping we can collapse on this guy yeah, we should be able to collapse on this guy pretty well. And I'm going to go uh, stop attacking him, hopefully in an attempt not to take the kill. And I'm going to go ahead and I got kind of knocked back. But I think in all honesty, oh, I don't have any mana. Okay, so just going to back off here. He should just be able to die. Hopefully he doesn't, hopefully we can get out of this just fine. I think we should. I mean, we don't have a tower here, but we have a lot of slows. Uh, I don't even have enough damage, enough mana for my ultimate. And the fact that Lee Sin is coming in, oh, oh no. So he uses his ultimate, which means he can revive, and he's probably going to go straight for the vein, simply because that's who's there, and I probably shouldn't have toned back at all. But, I mean, they're probably not going to die, I mean, considering that would be a little ludicrous. And if I can get enough mana for my ultimate, we could definitely turn something like this around. Especially because the Lee Sin's going to need some help. Okay, they're just playing running away, but I feel like we could probably catch them. Okay, so he's definitely dead. There's no doubt about it, unless, you know, he gets ulted. Dang it. I mean, I kind of asked for that. I kind of went a little too ham. And now I'm going to go get mobility boots, because as a melee champion, I'm definitely going to need a lot more of mobility. But, you know... We're 12-8. We don't have a single of their turrets, sadly. Which means there's definitely going to be some difficulties there. And I'm going to go get this just for the more damage. And I'm going to try to poke a bit more to get all that. To kind of like get a payoff of having this item. Simply because now I kind of have tribute gold, which is my passive when I get a basic attack. So I've been... I kind of want to keep my tribute gold more than my ambient gold on. Simply because that means the value of the gold is item is being kind of paid off for itself and let's see I, I don't have any doubt that he's gonna win this cuz he seems to be doing too pretty well if he has knight himself he should be able to uh, okay so he killed him that's good and he didn't die himself I was just coming to make sure you know he did die we wouldn't want him to survive for some miraculous reason cuz that's never good you don't let anyone survive all them all of them must meet their end and now that I have this I want to kind of be able to come in from behind and the dragons here so I mean I guess they're going straight for the dragon but I'm on my way my ultimates in three seconds
Uh, I was kind of hoping they'd chase me a bit more, but I guess, you know, I lost my ultimate in that. Now I'm going to back off a bit. Don't want to take too much damage. And I say we should go for the dragon now. That should be all that we need to focus on. Though I'm not going to be able to do too much to them now, considering that I'm pretty low from all that. But I mean, our other teammates low, so I'm going to kind of tank this for a bit, then jump out. Keep myself untargetable for that small second, and now that we've got the dragon, who knows what to do. This doesn't, like, I, the only reason I don't do this is because it doesn't increase the slow. And this is... That's funny, she flashed on to me, but I e towards her. So, I mean, in all in all, I kind of just wasted my E, but I, and I kind of got out of there scot-free, I guess. Didn't die, we got her. Four-man gank, no. I mean, we were all kind of bottom, and she was there kind of pushing. Wait, what? Five. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, what else were you we supposed to do? We were all there, and what I like to go is for the twin shadows, because it's a pretty good item. Simply because I can get that movement speed, and whenever I can, I like to get that movement speed buff. You overextend. So, okay, he's definitely going to do some damage. Hopefully, we can get there on time. Our ultimate, like I said, is almost up, so it's on a really short cooldown, in my opinion. Hopefully, you know I wasn't seen. I don't think I was exactly seen. So, maybe, just maybe, I should be able to get out, get him, or at least... If Jace was coming to help me, I don't know why Jace didn't come. It would have been a really nice, nice catch there. You know, the fish catching the cat. <laughs> that would have made it even more f just ridiculous. But I mean, it would have been fun. Fun for me, at least. Because I've been getting some kills, and I'm hoping to get more assists and not... And kind of keep my death at, to a minimum. That's kind of what you got to do. And remember, your initiating tool, you gotta kind of... Did you not see us kill off your teammates? Lol. They're still on that. So, I mean, I feel like me and Lee Sin could probably take them, especially with Yorick on the side. And, ah, uh, I'm hoping we can kind of fight this. Okay, there's a ward here. There's, like, a guaranteed ward. So I'm just going to go in there create some disruption. So I'm probably dead. Yeah, I'm probably dead. And I was hoping my team would go on this a little bit sooner. Because that would have been a such a much better fight if they kind of went in on it. But I mean, they were just a little kind of hesitant to go into it. But in the end, I guess, you know, it doesn't really matter. We can pretty much get this. I don't know, we we might have to uh, get it next time, but I might want to just kind of wait a bit until we kind of have enough. That's 50 gold. Huh, that's a lot of gold. I might as well just continue going. But I feel like that was a good initiation if our team went in a bit sooner. They had, I think, the resources to kind of come in, but I don't know why they didn't. I guess there was some hesitance because if you look at the enemy team, like, they had Chin Sao there, and Chin Sao is actually doing pretty well for himself. So let's see. We could probably take out the vein pretty easily. Yep, I kind of got to predict where she was going, and she wastes her one move to kind of peel off the enemy team on me. Which is funny, because I'm the support. And she's the one, like, kind of, like, getting scared that I'm there. But I guess I was probably the closest and the biggest threat, considering if I did have my ultimate, that was no way she was getting out of that alive. So let's see if I can't just get off a pretty nice ult here. I could probably dodge out my E, but, you know, let's see if we can't go ahead and get the Rengar. I'd say right now he's top priority, because we don't want him pushing and shutting. He's pretty going to be a pretty nice source of food. I'm kind of not going to... I don't want to lure him into my presence here. Okay, so I can kind of hop over here. Kind of deal damage to him. 
I can't do much in terms of if you fight him. Oh dang it! How'd that miss? Uh, so Leeson should probably be able to take him down. I don't think there's too much that he can do at this point. Leeson has a really good chasing potential, especially with his Q. And yeah, he had a flash, but Leeson should be able to catch up with pretty much ease. But I didn't get any assist. I guess I didn't think I did too much damage to him. But you know, whatever. I didn't really care too much in the end because as long as our team gets kills and everything, that's all that really matters. I don't know why Jason's getting so close considering he's pretty dead if he does get too close. Just going to dodge that. Just deal some... Okay, I don't know why he kind of went into that. That was really kind of poorly planned on his part. So I'm just going to continuously damage him. I wish I had my slow. Okay, I should be able to get out of that just fine. I mean, I wish there was more we could do at this point. But there's not much we can actually do. Considering that Vayne is here and Shin Sao is just really strong. Okay, if he does die here, that will be worth everything. Even if I have to give my life for Shin Sao's. So gonna put some wards down so at this point we're pretty pretty bad off now I was gonna say if we reinitiate this but I guess enough time had passed that Rango had kinda come into this which of course wouldn't leave much room for us okay so he should be dead I mean Vayne is just so low that if she doesn't die, it, it will be kind of surprising. So, I mean, he could probably turn on me, which I'm surprised he isn't. And if he doesn't jump on me, I'll be surprised too. But he's using it mainly to get out. Which I guess, in terms, is understandable. But I would have assumed that he'd go for me pretty easily. I was pretty dead there if he did go on me because I didn't have I didn't have enough mana at a lot of the time to kind of use my E to get out but I guess he didn't know that and another good thing which I'm going to say why I'm getting Trinity Shadows Force is because he ha they have so many stealth champions Twitch, Vayne, Rengar and if you see this goes if I go it summons two invulnerable ghosts that seek out the nearest enemy champions and reveal and it kind of like reveals them so I mean, if they go stealth and I use that on them, if we had that with the Rengar there, we would have seen him, seen where we went for sure. So I'm just saying that's that's one of the reasons why I got it. Okay, so we didn't get that sadly. I was hoping to get that with my Q, but we couldn't. Ezio is gonna ultimate ult it. We did get the, we didn't get that though. I kind of thought we did because I saw the health bar above it and it wasn't red but I guess it doesn't go red for the team it's only the oil kind of area around it that shows that it's giving vision for the red team I kinda could see after as soon as it kind of faded from view okay Vayne is behind them Okay, that should definitely hit her. She should definitely be dead by all means. Lee Sin will kill her. That's something I believe. Of course, you know, Ezreal tried to get a piece of that pie. And I'm going to go to the top lane. It's probably going to die the Rengar. But, you know, you never know until you try. But I can definitely stop him from getting anything else. And that was them going for me, I guess. But let's see if we can't stop them. Our team's going for the Rango, actually. So maybe we can help him with that. So that's going to definitely give him a slow. And he's dead. <laughs> I, I was surprised that he died so fast. I almost kind of saw his health kind of get really chunked. So I don't have my ultimate. But still, I said like I said before, I have my slow. Okay, so we gotta just take them out. Uh, he's silent, so that's. Uh, 
there's not much we can really do there. He's dead, and that's good, but right now we don't know what else to do. I want to have my ultimate in I have my ultimate soon, which is something we could probably do to definitely turn this around. But let's see. So let's see. We should definitely be able to take him out. Or not. I guess he went invisible. And I guess that doesn't really reveal the invisible champions as I thought it would. It would it kind of go if it touches them we'll know the area they're in for a moment. But perhaps that moment is all what we'll need in team fights. This is something I'll get last. Next I wanna go ahead and get the iron locket of the Solari. I guess I hit the wrong button. Iron locket of the Solari. For one, the health will be pretty good and the health regen I guess I'll get as well. And as Fizz, I'm going to say that I'm going to be kind of a melee champion and I don't want to just get busted and died. I don't have a lot of damage, so I'm kind of going to go really kind of t bruiser esque. I'm going to go tanky. Uh, so I think we should do just fine here. Like you see, like I take so much damage at this point that I. It's, it's a liability if I don't get off a good rotation. So I'm going to take this out. You know, less vision they have, the better it is for us. The only thing I worry about is that Shin Sao was in the bot lane, so he should be relatively close, especially if a team fight starts out. So, it's something I'm a little bit worried about. Uh, so, uh, I'm not going to, I might not die here, I mean, that was pretty good, I did get the Shin Sao, I wasn't trying to guys, I promise, but I mean, I was just attacking with all I had, because I was literally terrified of getting killed there, because I mean, he was just so, I was just so low at the end of that fight, I was just terrified, okay, I'm not going to, I'm going to get that, the, the, um, AP, the cooldown reduction is going to be pretty good on me. So our team should be fine as long as they don't fight. I mean, if there's a, present, a chance that really presents itself to fight, I mean, they should have at it. But at this point, there's not really a good chance that we'll have them getting out of it okay. Or even, like, if it was a traded for, they'd have to trade maybe two for one of them. It's just not, in my opinion, super worth it. I mean, now that I'm here, maybe. But if there's any kind of, like, indication that I'm here, it'll be pretty bad. Like, at this point, I can't really do much here. They're at the tower. There's not much I can actually really do here. I mean, if Fleecing comes in, but the thing is, we don't have a dedicated tank, I guess you might say, is what I'm talking about. Okay, so he's dead. That's good. Leeson got the double kill, which is also pretty good, considering Leeson is really strong, especially with a lot of kills. And... Let's see, right now, Shin Sao, he had a really strong early game, but right now, I guess the leader is Malja, and that's probably because of his ultimate. Simply because his ultimate has been just a pain to deal with. Let's see if he can't go, okay. Let's see if he can't go for the Malzahar. Okay, Shin Sao is coming, which means I am running. And the, we're going for Dragon, apparently, in 24 seconds. So, whatever. One thing I do plan on doing, I'm going to check to see if I can not find where the Shin Sao is. Yeah, just kind of teach him to back off. Okay, so the Vayne did get it, but if I can kind of like keep myself here. Okay, just going to back off. I had to use my flash. I was hoping to get over that wall. But my goal is to stop the Shin Sao from getting the dragon. But I guess Lin Lee Sin is also good enough for that job. Uh, I'm just going to run now. Okay, so he was able to stop stop him from do t using his full channel of his ultimate on me, which is definitely going to be a weak point for him. I mean, I can't really get too close to fight the dragon. So hopefully they don't steal it. And he's going to die for that, of course. But really, we needed that dragon, to be honest. Two to two, I mean. I don't know. Our jungler didn't get it, sadly. 
And uh, that's what I was saying. We needed to kind of box him out because he's been really good with that. And let's see. Rengar is pretty bad behind, but... I don't know. He's doing still pretty well, I guess. Which is worrying some because he's really good at split pushing. He got nerfed from it a while ago, so he's not as good as he used to be. But, I mean, he used to be an amazing split pusher, especially because his Q, which is basically increases his auto attack damage, I think, by making allowing him to do multiple auto attacks. So, he kicked him out of that, sadly. I was hoping to ult him, but, you know what? Look at this. 63 seconds so far. I mean, it's. I think it's really good. In my overall opinion, it's just pretty good. So, I might die here, yeah. And she might get out, because, you know... It felt like my team really didn't kind of react fast, definitely didn't react fast enough in my opinion. Okay, he should definitely be able to take her out, that's good. But now what else can you do? Attack the minions, you're dead anyways. Just take some minions with you for your death. So hopefully it isn't too loud, it feels louder than it has been recently. So I hope that isn't really too much of a problem for you guys. But I mean, on my end it kind of sounds a bit loud. So let's see. At this point, I'd say we're fine. We're definitely in a superior position. And we're, hopefully we keep this it this way. Right now in a team fight, we got to knock out Tin Sal and Mao's are probably the greatest. Rengo isn't that much, much of a threat unless he's really split pushing and taking towers. As you guys saw, he kind of really has taken top lane. But he's kind of settled down now, especially since as it comes to late game, he's not going to be as strong. And his team is definitely, tef is definitely going to need him. So I want to kind of get a ward down here. Okay, and that's good. Now we know that Xin Zhao is there. So they're very, like, you see, like, I have a lot of crowd crawl in the form. Like, I've been just slowing him around the place. Okay, so I, of course, died there, sadly. And I was hoping we'd get more off of that. But I'd say he should turn around and attack whoever, the vein, because the vein was doing kind of the only one he could really get to. The one thing I'm afraid of is our team is going to go in one b at a time and kind of consi consistently die. And like, you now the vein is, like I said, a late game champion, so she's definitely strong. Uh dang it like we're wasting so much on this kind of chase I feel like it isn't worth it and look at this Shin Sao is coming back so if he did come back in time that would have been just trouble for us so I feel like that was a really good engage on our part like we kind of got in we did a lot of damage but we kind of disappeared too fast like the whole thing ended and kind of like we died too fast which is a big pain but you know I feel like was we still kind of got a decent amount we it was a trade we two for four but I mean that's better than what what it would have been I mean if we didn't chase it might have been a bit better for us simply because we would have had more people alive but I mean they couldn't really push off of it okay I should probably get out of that I was underestimating it for a second I'm like it didn't seem like it was doing too much at force so I kind of let it be but then it kind of starts doing more so I mean if we get off a good ultimate here Okay, so I mean, our team should be able to do a decent thing here. Slow them down a bit. Okay. I mean, I'm probably getting a really greedy there, but I feel like we could still kind of do a lot here. And I mean, as long as they don't stop Leeson's push, because... <laughs> okay, Rengar's going to stop it. Okay, and apparently Leeson is incredibly strong, so I'd say go for the tower. Because there's no one there to stop him at the point. Like, everyone on the team who could stop him is way too far away, or... Even, let's say, they're pretty low except for the vein, and the vein isn't backing. So, at this point, I'd say back out right now, because Jin Sao and Mao Zou are probably going to get back and get out of there. Yeah, that was a good time to get out, and we did get the tower, so we should be able to try to get their inhibitor. So, we're doing a decent job, I'd say, in general. 
And that push kind of like made that bad play by me a little bit better. Yep, good job. Sadly, I got a little too over aggressive. I mean, that's kind of like what I said with like I like being pretty aggressive. So, someone when we're not going aggressive is not as fun as especially because Fizz is an overly aggressive champion. Maybe if I went full AP, I could go for these plays. But right now, I'm more of a not a damage dealer, but I I just I'm a really support like. Of course, there's not much else I could be. Huh, I mean, yeah, that was probably going to end up as steel if I did get that off. But I was hoping more or less I really wanted to get an assist at the very, very least. But, you know, didn't get it in the end. Dragon's up. We hopefully can get it this time. We, we've got it stolen from us so many times in the end that it's, we don't want to get it stolen from us again. Yep, here's the award. Let's see if I can't send off my ghosts to go save them. Sadly, they don't go, don't go over walls. So yeah, he's dead. I had to use my ult on him, but like the thing is, like it's just a pain. He keeps coming in and stealing it, and our teams. I mean, in terms of smite stealing, it's kind of like up to the whoever the whatever his name is, the Yorick to kind of outsmite him, which he hasn't been doing. Okay, that's the thing, I really don't like. They have a lot of good crowd control there. At least he's gonna die. He probably should have continued fighting, in my honest opinion, because he was gonna die either way. Get off as much damage as possible. But the thing is, like, if I get, like, his ultimate, he snares you, you're pretty much useless at that point. I did better in the beginning, I have to be honest. Part of me wishes I could say I've been, I'm have been, i doing good, but I mean, like, at this point, the commentary isn't all that great, simply because I'm not showing you how to be really great at it at this point. Okay, so he's probably dead if Ezio plays this right. He should be able to E and W. Or not. And he missed his ultimate. So that was really late on his E. Like, he just was very resistant, I guess, to go in. Malzo's ult should still be down and everything, so it shouldn't have been any, like, real question on whether he could fight it or not. And at this point, like, he's... He himself should still be pretty strong. Okay, this is weird. I mean, it felt like there was either lag or something. I think, yeah, I think it was lag, because I was trying to attack him and everything, but it wasn't letting me attack him. Because I was like, I don't know, either that or my hands were on the wrong keys, but it felt all like a little off. I have my ultimate, so hopefully, you know, we can kind of do something here. I don't know, okay, no, I'm going to have to back. Because like, I, yeah, Lisa knows what's up, we kind of have to save that. So he's also there. Oh, I don't know, they all were coming back towards me, I don't know. I guess there was this weird thing where they were just coming back towards me. Ho ho! So that was actually kind of funny because Lee Sin kicked him into my ultimate. Okay, that's the thing. Like, look at that. Look at that damage that you can't really counter it because as soon as you're stunned, like, the only way to counter that is through an item. Which is, like, I mean, not an item, but a summon spell. If you have cleanse or you have another item that kind of counters that, that's good. So I'm going to get something like that. Banshee's Veil. This grants a spell shield that blocks the next enemy ability. So if uh, it kind of prevents. No, that's not good. Uh. What is it? Quicksilver? A sash, I believe. Yeah, it's an active item. It removes debuffs, including the snare, the si like, I don't know what that is, what it's called again. It's not a silence. It's not a, it's a special debuff that only a few champions have. It's, it's such with an S. That's my, that much I do know. Give me a sec, guys. I got this. I got this. Suppression. I got it, guys. Don't worry. I promised you that I had it, and I had it. So let's hopefully take this down. I don't think. Okay, there's Vayne. Okay, she should be dead simply because she was in the range of my ultimate. Ezio should have attacked her a bit sooner. But like I said, she's a really late game monster. Ah, dang it. Like, you see that? She she's just so strong in the late game, and. They've had a good chance to get back simply because we've been dying a lot. 
not we, but like me, but as a team, we've kind of been fooling around a bit. And now she has 10, 12. So their team is definitely like was a bit behind the beginning, and they're still behind in kills. But we're definitely like with all those dragon steals. Like at the third dragon, it's so much more worth the third dragon than the first or the second. Like the first and the second dragons are the like real like boss. Okay, if he has his ultimate, they're dead. Well, at least one of them is dead. So hopefully we can get into this. Our ultimate's back up. It's very short when you get to the final stages of your build and getting a lot of cooldown reduction. And I'm afraid for the Lee Sin. Uh, I want to fight this really badly. Simply take them down. But of course, you know, like he has that silence, so I can't really do much there. Dang it. I really wanted to take him down. But the Lee wasn't really going for it, so I didn't really go all out yet. Because I wanted to do so much more there. I wanted to throw out as much as I could on there. But at that point, I couldn't, simply because my team wasn't helping me. The Lee Sin was close, so he should have kind of jumped in with me. I mean, I don't do a super, a super amount of damage. Ezio wants to bear, and I don't know. This is something I'm also kind of, like, freaking out about, because after all the steals they've had, I don't know if Yorick would be able to kind of do it. We need our jungler up. So I'm going to actually, like, use five. Just see where they are. Okay, the jungler at, is at the very, very bottom. And yeah, this makes me very low. But they have some people up here which worries me. If we don't take this down really fast enough. Okay, so he's probably going to die. Though, I, like, at this point, we really can't do much here. I want to help with this, but like I said, I... Ha okay, we need to definitely take this down soon. Okay, so it seems like they're more focused on the Baron. They got it. And I sl they're t we're still taking them down, but that's a really big disadvantage for us. And they're taking our base too, which is also a big disadvantage for us. And I don't have, like, AoE damage, so I shouldn't be able to... I don't know if I'll be able to defend this at all. Yeah, like, they're going to take at least one tower of ours, sadly. And if our team doesn't go back, they're probably going to take both of our towers. Yeah, we're going to... We probably have losses at this moment. Because now they have Varen. Like, this is a hopeless feat. Vayne is there taking out the last of our people. So right now, this is just hopeless in my opinion. And I feel like that's a lot because our team wasn't very well decided. And I mean, like, there were so many mistakes. Especially, like, I feel like this Yorick, he was a good player. He made really good plays. But the thing is, his real job as a jungle, you have to really get those objectives. And that's why he has Smite. That's kind of his w number one role. And if he can't do that, that's kind of, like, going to kind of take the game out for us. Like this, we need to take out Chin Sao or stop him somehow from taking it. And that's, in the end, Vayne, not Mal. Don't, I mean, Vayne is now very strong. He, he spelled her name wrong, I'm going to just say that out loud. He spelled it wrong, very wrong. So would, I'm just going to take the kill at this point, because I don't really care. Whatever happens, we kind of do it. We took her down. And they're, they're not really taking uh, too, aren't taking too much damage because our people are taking it down. But I'm not much help here. I don't have a lot of AOE damage. And I don't have a lot of damage in total now. Because I've focused on going more utility. So I didn't. So I wouldn't take too many kills, I guess you might say. And I feel like we can defend. But at this point, it's probably not worth it. Because at this point, we don't have anything really to defend. And at this point, at this point, at this point, at this point, whatever. At Right now, my sight stone wasn't really going to work for us at this point. We need more damage, so I'm going to go... I mean, this BF sword probably seems like a weird buy to most of you. Okay, I kind of predicted where he was going after this. Just going to... Okay, now now he's backing. He's coming from behind, so we got to stop him. Hopefully, you know, the minions don't keep stopping my back. Okay, in the end, I'm going to have to flash. I don't feel like he's going to kill me. Okay. Let's surrender. GG, well played. So, sadly, guys, that's the end of this. 
Fizz, I feel like can be a really strong player and support role for normals at least. I wouldn't take this into a serious competitive play. This is more to have fun. And you guys saw how strong it was early, especially when you first reach 6. But you guys also saw how it kind of deteriorated as the game went on. Because our team wasn't working very well together in general. We kind of had a lack of focus and everything. And it's not that it didn't wasn't strong late game. It's just that it's kind of a team dependent kind of thing. Because if you don't build, you can build damage. You don't have to build a utility. But I like building utility as I like helping my team out more than taking the kills. But it's, if, the thing is, it's very flexible. If it seems like your team like I didn't do this and I probably should have if I saw that my team was kind of like making these mistakes I should have just sold my items I know it's not or stopped building the support items and got more into damage items as that would have been much more useful as if I can do started doing more damage and getting more kills I could probably have done more in a team fight than being support so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if so remember to like and subscribe and Remember guys, we haven't had a few a lot of straw poll votes. I've been voting for the past few two weeks just choosing what I wanted because no one's been really voting the straw polls and I really kind of would hope for you guys to vote more because I want to play champions that you guys want to play. And if you want to suggest in the comments champions you want to see eventually, like I could do that. I could definitely like say like, okay, maybe he's not in the straw poll this week. But if you just put, put down in the comments below like what champions you want me to want to see me play, I will definitely play them for you guys. I'll put them in future straw polls. Just tell me what you guys want and I'll put them in future straw polls. So I'll see you guys next time on the League of Legends.